of stuff unless I have to. And I just wanna say thank you so much to all the new faces that are coming here to my channel. Thank you so much for the love on last week's Master Bedroom Makeover. My schedule's a little bit off right now and this is a little bit more of a mellow and mushy DIY video with my friends over at Baked by Melissa. Because I'm gearing up to do a business for the first time and it's a fairly large makeover for me. It's one of my biggest projects. So that is priority. We're gonna kick back up with makeovers next week, but man, just thank you guys. Okay, let's get into the video. The delivery just came. I want this. A little cupcake goes a long way. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and something that I love doing is sending unexpected gifts to the ones that I love most. So if you're looking to give a one of a kind memorable unexpected gift as well, you can wow your Valentine this year by sending them bite-sized cupcakes from Baked by Melissa. And yes, she is a real person. I think that's the most amazing thing on that brochure. <laughs> you can choose from white chocolate cookies and cream, red velvet, milk chocolate, dolce leche, and more. Plus vegan and gluten-free options. Don't come at me for saying dolce leche wrong. I have Invisalign in, we're gonna get over it. But by far my favorite out of this ugh, is just the white chocolate cookies and cream. It's so delicious. Baked by Melissa treats are delicious. They're perfectly bite-sized, so you can have one in every flavor, and you'll actually want to, you guys. I devoured so many. You are gonna be seeing these sprinkled out throughout the rest of the video, but I do wanna let you guys know that you can head to bakedbymelissa.com and use my promo code METZ to get 15% off your order. Baked by Melissa offers one and two day shipping nationwide, but you need to remember that the last day for standard shipping for Valentine's Day delivery is February 12th at 2 p.m. EST. Now let's jump into the dates. This first date night idea is inspired by Jenna and Julian. Just watching their videos every single time <laughs> just makes me want to do that with my boyfriend. So I just grabbed my painter's drop cloth and started to set up an acrylic pour station. But instead of canvas, I just spray painted two skateboards completely flat white to make those our canvas. My original idea was going to be setting up a Bob Ross like paint and sip tutorial, but Paul really doesn't have the patience for that. So I had to pick something that we would have fun doing and that we can move through fairly quickly because uh, his attention span is a little small when it comes to crafting. This is the first time that Paul and I tried Baked by Melissa and the cupcake tracker will let you know how many I personally am consuming throughout this video. I'm gonna be setting these out at each date night, but obviously tailor your snacks, treats, and sweets to your diet and your humans as well. Little side story nobody asked for, but before I started YouTube and I was completely broke as a joke, I used to do DIY date night ins all the time and just pull what we had and what I could execute. You can do this on any type of budget, but I do have to say this is when I have the most fun with Paul because whether we fail or succeed at the DIY, it's always a fun time making a mess with him and watching him do something new. <laughs> Mine is just terrible. Oh, look at the technique wasn't too bad. Mr. Ruining the art and craft. I didn't say you ruined it, I said I'm ruining it because it's not turning out how I thought mine was going to turn out. This was our starter date night in. Uh, so once we finished that up and we definitely failed, we moved on to our next. Idea number two again takes place at home because Paul and I are such homebodies. He just loves to chill and relax when he gets home from skateboarding and working out. He really is physically exhausted. So your girl's setting up a little mini snack nick, not really a picnic at home and doing a game night. We like Scrabble and Uno, those are our go-to. So I'm just gonna bring together everything with a little romance. You don't have to have things all matchy matchy like I do. I recently spruced up my living room so everything just kind of flows together. I do have to say that you take your time to set something up and really style it. It makes it that much better and it makes it that much more thoughtful, creating a bigger impact. Even though this is just like pillows on a floor with a blanket, it's just very cozy because it looks pretty. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but just don't forget that. I think Callie knew it was a human date and started protesting, so I threw her bed right near it and started adding the faux rose petals that I bought off Amazon and I linked down below for you guys all around. The reason I bought faux rose petals, I bought these three years ago, and that's exactly why. It's because there's a plethora, and the more you put down, just the more luxe and just romantic it looks. Candles are always great, just be smart with your placement. And if you can't have candles, there are definitely affordable options for faux candles that you can control on a remote. That way you have no stress whatsoever. Paul is gone during the day, so I decided to set all of these up and surprise him when he got home. The minute that he settled and kind of decompressed or was in the process, that's when I added the final touches, like 
putting out Scrabble and Uno because that's what we're gonna be doing here, but also setting up some snacks and including those cupcakes that you're gonna see me just single-handedly eat the whole time, which is kind of embarrassing. We also threw on our favorite show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, which you'll see us do a little dance to, we always do. And even though we do this on the regular upstairs on our couch, I just wanted to spruce it up and make it special and make it fun. I also dominate in Uno, so if there's any takers, I always show Paul what's up. This is the reality, by the way, of the other side of things. My Christmas decor is still up. On to the next one. Fun little fact about our family is for seven years now, we've been making tents on and off. It's just one of our things that we do. So I thought it'd be fun to make it on a grander scale by using a staple gun and tacking it up to the ceiling. The reason I'm doing that is because I know how to patch it up with some joint compound or, you know, paint spackle, what, is that right? And match the paint color by going to Home Depot since I don't have my ceiling color on hand anymore. So I'm not too worried about the holes being left behind. Now there is no right or wrong way to make a tent. I mean, unless you're literally putting a sheet on the floor then you can like revert back to my DIY before the picnic idea. I'm just doing all white to keep it cohesive and just a little bit more clean and bright. I started steaming the sheets and was like absolutely not and came back in with some wrinkle release and sprayed that everywhere. Next, I laid down just super cozy blankets. The mini human is a blanket connoisseur, so she has the most cozy blankets in her room. I just stole those for the evening, placed pillows where necessary, and filled up the outer area with some rose petals, the faux ones. I added a tray and then just filled that up to the brim with rose petals. We're gonna put some candles into this and create a little DIY s'more station that's gonna go hand in hand with our Big by Melissa cupcakes. My dog is very well behaved, but I'm still going to put everything out that I'm prepping wrapped to make sure that she doesn't get a hold of it. So I'm just going to lay out the essentials for a s'more, obviously graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. You can spruce it up with whatever you'd like to add into yours, but a little secret weapon of mine is miniature cupcakes into the s'more. You will thank me later. I saw this hack on Pinterest and I had to try it. So it's just these little burners that keep the food warm at buffets that you are going to add to a heat safe jar. I put some rocks at the bottom to lift it up a bit. And when the time comes to make the s'mores, you can pop the lid off, light it, and then to put out the fire, you just put the lid back on. I'm not going to be calling myself lazy, but uh, the fact that my Christmas decor was still up came in handy because I was like, oh, I can add the stars and the trees and make it like an indoor outdoor camping scenario by adding fishing line and hooking those to the ceiling. I also added fairy lights to the trim of the tent because we are gonna be using our sin mood, which is like a mini projection screen to watch a movie within the tent. So I didn't wanna to add too much light on top of it or like on the sheets itself. The really incredible part about this entire thing is I didn't spend any money on any of these date nights. They're everything that I've already had in our house. So if you can't do these ideas, try to put together a little package deal of what you can with, by using the things that you already have laying around. This one by far was my favorite because if Paul didn't get a last minute audition that he had to study for the next day, I think we would have just fallen asleep right here and I would have been perfectly content with that. I know this is on the more mellow side, but I do have to say thank you again to Baked by Melissa for sponsoring today's video. It was really fun to take a step back and take a day not building and just doing something for the man that I love the most. I'm really excited for the mini human to come home and see the tent because I'm gonna clean it out and kind of decorate it for her and her best friend so they can have a s'more night as well. A fun fact, I ate uh, 12 of those cupcakes and I blame you big by Melissa, but now I'm hooked. If you guys wanna get 15% off your order for your loved one, be sure to head over to bakedbymelissa.com and use my promo code METS to get 15% off your order. I will see you soon for another DIY.